And all new at 10, Homeland Security investigators busting several counterfeit rings selling fake merchandise in the valley. They say the knockoffs not only negatively affect the economy, but could be harmful to your health. CBS 4's Nestor Mothel joins us now with more. Nestor. Marcy, the Homeland Security investigations team say they've seized hundreds of thousands worth of pretend products during several busts in the valley recently. They say they work to keep that merchandise out of the country and out of the valley to keep you safe. Now they're showing us how to spot a fake. Our investigations have led to several seizures recently here in the valley uh, involving hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of counterfeit items that were seized. It's a growing trend. Over 5,000 counterfeit items confiscated in the valley by the Homeland Security Investigations team. Commercial fraud, and that involves intellectually property rights violations, IPR violations. Eddie Hurtado, supervising special agent out of HSI in Brownsville, says people are committing fraud using brand names consumers trust to sell counterfeit merchandise to turn a profit. He says the items are typically sold out of the trunk of a car or flea market. HSI officials say the crime hurts American retailers and the U.S. economy. Most commonly made in China, the manufacturers of the phony products cut corners to keep costs low. And there is no telling what dangerous chemical may be inside that perfume bottle or makeup. These items are produced in countries where um, the procedure for manufacture aren't as stringent here in the United States, um, and, and they may contain some type of substance that may be harmful. Hurtado says some products could even contain carcinogen, which could cause cancer. Cell phone chargers and other counterfeit items lacking in quality could also be dangerous. It could be hazardous. They, they could cause a fire. Would you know how to spot a counterfeit item? Mm -mm. But if it's a good one, like, no. Probably not. Shoppers I spoke to at Sunrise Mall in Brownsville say they would not be able to spot a fake. Hurtado says HSI works with forensic investigators that trademark companies hire. He says quality, stitching, and even a difference in the product's color is a red flag. Jersey of this, of this quality, um, which is legitimate, would go anywhere from $200 to $300. Uh, where these that we see, they had them for $50. Hurtado says if the price is too good to be true, it probably is. Well, Hurtado went, went on to say HSI works with other groups and a task force with over 23 agencies to stop the illegal import of count counterfeit items. In 2014 alone, they seized over 4,400 counterfeit items worth over $1 billion. In the studio, Nestor Mato, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com.